Thursday, April 9th, 2020, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So mark this date, especially my uh, UK viewers, April 9th, 2020. The Bank of England has gone into full hyperinflationary mode. Uh, I was going to go out this morning with my wife early on to go uh, do some food shopping, but we're going to delay it because this is too important not to uh, make the video right away. So it's just come out. It came out on my phone, a notice from the FT, which I subscribed to. It says Bank of England to directly finance extra government spending. Move allows ministers to spend more in the short term without tapping the guilt market. What does that mean? Well, it means that uh, the government won't have to borrow its money anymore, that the Bank of England will just print it out of thin air and give it to the government. Uh, a lot of people criticize uh, those like me who say that uh, QE or money printing is hyperinflationary, it's inflationary, it's money out of thin air, because they say that uh, the money uh, has to be borrowed into existence, that the government has to go into the market, and that's true. And then the, the Bank of England buys uh, the gilts in the secondary market afterwards. And even that uh, excuse, I don't think it's, it is any good. I think it's also hyperinflationary, because in the end of the day, the only way the Bank of England can buy uh, those gilts in the secondary market is by printing out of thin air. But what's happening here now, the UK government, Her Majesty's Treasury, will not have to go into the free market to borrow uh, the funds anymore. Uh, the Bank of England is just going to print these little pieces of paper here uh, and give it directly to, to the government. Uh, I think this is serious, um, and that's why I delayed our shopping trip. Uh, right now, it's almost like a trip because you have to queue up or go into a line to wait to go into the supermarket, and we need to do a big shop, uh, buy some stuff for uh, my mother-in-law and take it there for her because she's getting, she's almost 88, um, so she needs help. But uh, yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, just remember these banknotes. Uh, they're going to become like these, the German ones, or the $10 trillion Zimbabwe notes. This is a very uh, serious, I think, uh, event, uh, especially for uh, people here in the UK and their savings. Um, they're saying, of course, it's all temporary, that the uh, government will pay it back before the end of the year. But I heard recently this weekend that uh, Andrew Bailey, the new governor of the Bank of England, said they're not going to said they would not issue any extra financing for this crisis. And now they've turned completely around. I think the government has gone there and said, no, you're going to do it and you're going to give it to us directly. Just print it. So let's go through the article. Of course, the FT is not going to talk about hyperinflation or anything. They're going to make it seem uh, that it's uh, normal and that it's going to be only temporary. The Bank of England will directly finance the extra spending needs of the UK government on a temporary basis. The government announced on Thursday allowing the Treasury to bypass the bond market. You see, that's the, the key part there. Uh, the move highlights the extraordinary demands on cash the government has experienced in recent weeks, which it feels it cannot finance immediately in the guilt market. While they could finance it in the guilt market, uh, they would just uh, have to pay a higher price uh, for it in terms of interest rates, which would mean uh, a disaster for the economy, higher interest rates. So they could do it. It's just that they don't want uh, to allow interest rates to rise and guilt prices to fall. Yeah, if they came out and said they're going to pay 10% for one month money, I would probably lend it to them, but they want to pay zero. In the statement to financial markets, the government announced it would extend the size of the government's bank account <laughs> at the central bank, known historically as the Ways and Means Facility, 
which normally stands at just 400 million. This will rise to an undisclosed amount. Undisclosed, that's also not good. Uh, it's probably unlimited, like the Fed's QE, allowing ministers to spend more in the short term without having to tap the guilt market. In 2008, a similar move saw the Ways and Means facility rise briefly to 20 billion. I think this is going to be in the trillions, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is serious. <laughs> this is why uh, we've seen probably uh, all the bullion dealers running out of gold in the last few weeks. And there's still a lot of them are still not operating. They don't have the supply uh, of gold or the stock of gold. This is going to get uh, this is going to decimate the purchasing power of this. It's not going to be overnight, but uh, yeah, let's let's continue. So this is what a Treasury official says. This direct monetary financing of government would be temporary and short term, the Treasury said in a statement, as well as temporarily smoothing government cash flows. The Ways and Means facility supports market functions by minimizing the immediate impact of raising additional fund funding in guilt and sterling money markets, it added. Well, basically saying we don't want to uh, pay any more to the market. We're just going to take it from the Bank of England. We're just going to have it printed for us. It said any drawings on this overdraft would be repaid as soon as possible before the end of the year. Well, we'll have to see about that. Uh, I think this is going to continue. I think this uh, crisis is going to worsen. Uh, we're hearing now uh, of full lockdowns, even worse than we're having now. Uh, after uh, Monday next week, that it could be six to eight weeks after that. Less than a month ago, the Bank of England said there was little chance there would be any need to use the Ways and Means facility. So you see, they said there's little chance. Now they're saying they're going to use it. They're not giving you the amount and they're saying it's temporary. Well, maybe in the month's time, they're, they're going to say, well, it's going to be permanent. Demonstrating how much government finances have been stressed in the past few weeks. In a call with journalists on the 18th of March, Andrew Bailey, BOE governor, said the facility was just a historical feature. Well, it's not historical anymore, uh, Governor Bailey. I don't think at the moment we're facing an inability of the government to fund himself. So yes, it's there, but it's not a frontline tool, Mr. Bailey had said. So there you go. So the government wants to have its cake and eat it. So they're going to have the Bank of England uh, print the money directly for them. And uh, you need to understand that this is truly historic and significant. And you might say, oh, Mario, you're exaggerating. Uh, it's only going to be temporary. They're going to pay it back. No, you saw there that uh, just a month ago, Mr. Bailey was saying that it was just a historical feature. They're not going to do it again. Now they're saying that they're going to do it again. They're not giving you the amount they're going to do it. It's open-ended, so it's unlimited, in my opinion. And you can bet that in a month's time, this engineered crisis will get even worse. And uh, this is going to uh, mushroom, in my opinion. So <laughs> it's 8 a.m. London. Let's quickly look at the markets. You'd expect the pound to be dropping really sharply, gold to be going up a lot, and it's not right now, but um, you can't even get gold here in the UK. Very difficult. Uh, you could still do it uh, with gold investments, of course, <laughs> for which I have the promo code Maneco64. And if you're looking to get gold, go below in the description of my video. I've I've got all the details of how you can get gold at Gold Investments, or you can do it also through Glint, the Glint card. Yes, you don't hold it physically through Glint, but they hold it in your name in a vault in Switzerland. Uh, there's a referral code for me there uh, as well. So right now, Spot Gold is at $16.54, up about $10. Uh, low has been 1642, high is 1657. So, yeah, are the other central bankers uh, liable to follow this? 
It could. That's the other thing we need to think about. Maybe the Fed will do the same with the uh, U.S. Treasury. They'll print the money directly and the Treasury won't have to borrow it. Who knows? Uh, we'll have to see. Or the ECB and other central banks. Because you need to understand a lot of these central banks, they're like a cartel. They work together. So what one central bank does, the other one will do. We'll have to see. Silver is up uh, 17 cents at 15.10. Uh, the Dow future is up 189, just under 1%. Uh, S&P is up 18, two-thirds of a percent higher. A NASDAQ 100 future up 30 or a third of a percent. So the price of gold in sterling is uh, right now 13.36. It is off the highs, but uh, yeah, try to get some uh, gold at 13.36. It's more like 14.56. You're gonna have to pay for an ounce of gold if you can find it right now. The FTSE uh, 100 is up 100 up 2%, 57, 57.65. But then again, during the German hyperinflation, uh, the German stock market did quite well because <laughs> the currency was worthless. So maybe stocks will be worth something. But um, And the same thing happened in, in Caracas, Venezuela. Their index, uh, stock index did really well one year when they had the hyperinflation. Uh, currencies, uh, sterling is basically unchanged, 123.89, euro as well, 108.61, and the Japanese yen, uh, the dollar versus the Japanese yen is a little stronger, 108.93. WTI crude is up 3% at 29.40. So, yeah, I'm not trying to be alarmist. Uh, I've been following the monetary system, uh, the central banks, studying the history. Since the beginning of the century, <laughs> when I first bought uh, a gold coin, a Krugerrand, I got into gold, learned what it was all about. And I can say this is truly historic. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be very temporary. I think this crisis is getting worse. They know that they're going to extend this lockdown for even longer and it's going to get even worse i don't think people are going to be able to go out to do their exercises you will only be able to go out food shopping they're going to make you uh carry papers like they're doing in italy in my opinion so yeah berlin on the thames or harari on the thames caraca on the thames whatever you want to call it it looks like it's arrived uh in the UK. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button, share it far and wide, think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet, and you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, BitChute, Steemit, and DTube. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.